as you can see this is a sling bag with a very cool LED display that you can control with your smartphone we're gonna talk about this we're gonna talk about the bag but first I gotta give you guys my disclaimer this bag was sent to me to do a product review this is not an advertisement and yeah that's my disclaimer there is no on and off button for the display there is a USB cable inside of this bag and you connect it to a power supply and when you unplug it it turns off and when you plug in the portable battery it turns on automatically one thing to note is that this bag does not come with a portable battery this is the one that I always use so if you're planning on getting this bag make sure you have a portable battery that has a USB port um, that shouldn't be a problem you should have a couple of them by now I mean at events they used to give them for free but uh yeah you can get a cheap one on Amazon like 10 20 dollars uh, that's it when I first saw photos of this bag I thought this was a button like an on and off button but it is not it just it's just a logo it doesn't do anything when you touch it okay so like I said we're gonna turn off the display we're gonna talk about this in a little bit but first let's talk about the bag itself so this bag is pretty much the right size to take out on the go for casual adventures out in the city um, I don't think you can put a tablet in here maybe like a Kindle or an iPad mini but you definitely can't fit your laptop in here but it's not for that so there are three compartments the front pocket is almost like a medium sized pocket like I said this is the one with the USB cable inside of it so this is great to put your battery in there or your phone that is the front pocket right there it's not too big there's not much you can see in there so I just got my earphones in there my wireless earbuds and that's all I got in that front pocket I haven't took this bag outside yet that's why you can still see the tag is still on it and um, the plastic is still on it now let's go ahead and take a look at the main compartment of the bag you got two little slots right there and you got a hidden compartment over here that has a zipper so something like a hidden zipper that's great for putting like the charging cables so that they don't float around in your bag there's also a little mount for your keys so you attach this to your keychain and then you hit that button and there you go this will come in handy so you never have to lose your keys again you just attach it to your keys and then flip it on so you open the door, clip it back on, put your keys back in the bag, and you should never lose your keys again, hopefully. On the back, there's a little handle. So I guess if you don't want to strap it on, you could hold it. That's interesting. And on the back, we got the final compartment. This one, I think, is the smallest one, but this one also has a zipper. And there you go. There's no organizers. It's just a regular compartment to put your stuff probably put your phone in there yeah if it's a phone there you go now let's talk about some pixel art as I mentioned before to turn on the bag all you got to do is hook it up to a portable power supply with USB once you connect it then the bag will turn on and you can automatically see the pixel art at first it's gonna be random but you can change it once you connect it to your phone so connect it with your phone all you got to do is open up the app and then you tap on this icon on the top left hand corner and then you tap on sling bag to connect. From here, you can tap on any pixel art and then it will display on your bag instantly. Now the really cool thing about this app is that it's almost like Instagram, but for pixel art and animations. If you're an artist, you can go ahead and make your own art too. Or maybe you're like me, you grew up playing retro games and you love 8-bit art. So no matter what you like, you're gonna find pixel art based on it. So like Marvel, Star Wars, any type of video game, even sports, you're going to see a lot of pixel art and you're going to spend a decent amount of time browsing. So what is the point of having pixel art on your bag other than the fact that it looks pretty cool? Well, you can do different things with it. You can display the time, you can display the weather, you can use it for notifications, or if you're riding a bike, you can attach your phone to your bike handles and you can use your bag to let people behind you know which direction you're going to turn. So this could be great if you ride your bike at night. You can even play some retro games on this bag. Now, they're not great games, it's not supposed to be like the Nintendo Switch, it's just more of a tech demo or something to show off to your friends while you're having drinks. 
And if you're old enough, I'm sure you remember some of these games like Snake and Pong. These were the free games that were available on the old Nokia phones. Overall, I think this is an awesome bag for going out to events or going out in the city, especially for conventions. But it may not be for everybody, especially if you don't like people coming up to you and saying, hey, I like your bag. This could be a great conversation starter, but again, that's not for everybody. Even besides the pixel art, the bag itself feels high quality. It feels pretty durable. It feels like it's gonna last. It may not be my everyday bag because I like to carry a tablet and this is not big enough for a tablet. And you do gotta be careful of the display. You can't just throw it around. You can't just have things hitting on it because um, you might damage the LEDs. So that's something to be mindful of, but I'm definitely gonna be taking this out and about and you're gonna be seeing more pictures of this on my Instagram. So if you guys are interested in this bag, I have a product link in the description below. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below or you can reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter.